Hello guys, I'm with George and Julio and we are in another property and I have here Julio who is doing my barn door. You see that this is a long closet and he's trying to get this ready because why this other property that we just bought, we just closed what is it? Today is the 20th. We just closed on it a couple of weeks ago, two to three weeks, and I already have a tenant. Isn't that awesome? Well, I'm still doing some minor aesthetics like painting and adding this barn door. The story of this barn door closet here is I have a nurse. There are several nurses, three nurses that are planning to come over here. And so this bedroom here didn't have any closet. So I asked my contractor Julio to make me one so that I could give this bedroom, I could call this a bedroom by having a closet and by having a window. Do you know that you can only call a room a bedroom if there's two things? One, is there's a window and two, if there's a closet. So in order for me to call this into a bedroom, I have to provide them my nurse a closet and who you will talk about the importance of knowing the right measurement of a closet because I know in some of the properties I've gone to is that when you put in you try to put in the clothes the clothes do not fit in order for them to fit you gotta be tilting that way so Julio take it along let's go All right. yeah so we prefer when we build in a closet to do in a space between, you know, inside between one wall to do a 24 inch. So then you will have plenty of room to put you close and then it will be. <laughs> Reconnect my friends. And now we are back on live again. Julio, can you demonstrate the 24, 25 inches using your tape measure? Sure. What that means? <laughs> that means then between the back wall to the front wall where your daughter's will be, you want to be at least 24 inches, a little bit extra. That will be the preference size for a closet. And Ria is trying to do a barn door right here, so we are going to make one, and it's uh, five, uh, six, 60 inches, so we are just waiting for parts, and then we will show you the finished product when parts are right. That's right. So let's say Julio's shoulder is less than 24. So if I have a cloth, right, if I have clothes, I want to make sure my clothes do not tilt. Can you tilt for us, Julio? So if it's less than 24, your clothes will be like this. When That's you what Julio is saying, is you need a clearance of about 24 to 25 inches, Julio, right? All right. So that your clothes will be like this when you go hang it. And uh, you know what, how I learned this? By buying properties and seeing those tiny closets. <laughs> when I put something in there, forget it, it's gonna go tilt. And so that's the, another lesson that I'm sharing with you guys as a landlord. So my dear friends, Julio and I will be seeing you on the next episode when we have the barn door parts uh, coming soon. So let's go. Mm -hmm.